China President Xi Jinping told African leaders on Monday that China's investments on the continent have no political strings attached. He pledged 226 trillion shillings, which is about $60 billion in new development financing. Xi offered the funding at the start of a two-day China-Africa summit that focused on his cherished Belt and Road Initiative. The money to be spent over the next three years comes on top of $60 billion Beijing offered in 2015. The massive Belt and Road scheme is aimed at improving Chinese access to foreign markets and resources and boosting Beijing's influence abroad. China has poured billions in loans for roads, railways, ports, and other major infrastructure projects in Asia and Africa. The critics warn that the Chinese leader's pet project is burying some countries under massive debt. But Xi admitted there was a need to look at the commercial viability of projects and make sure preparations are made to lower investment risks and make cooperation more sustainable. Later, at the start of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, FOCAC, Xi announced 60 billion dollars in funds for eight initiatives over the next three years in areas ranging from industrial promotion infrastructure construction and scholarships for young africans he added that africa's least development heavy indebted and poor countries will be exempt from debt they have incurred in the form of interest-free chinese loans due to mature by the end of 2018 a study by the Center for Global Development, a U.S. think tank, found serious concerns about the sustainability of sovereign debt in eight Asian, European, and African countries receiving belt and road funds. But South African President Cyril Ramaphosa defended China's involvement on the continent, saying FOCAC refutes the view that a new colonialism is taking hold in Africa. FOCAC refutes the view that a new colonialism is taking hold in Africa as our detractors would have us believe. We appreciate the decision to provide new funding to African countries to the value of $60 billion. Let me repeat, $60 billion. Rwandan President Paul Kagame, the current chairman of the African Union, also rallied behind China's involvement in Africa. The Forum for China-Africa Summit is expected to end today. It is taking place in Beijing.